A little bit different deal this time around than, uh, than last year. Um, do, you, yeah. do you kind of go through spring with a different approach than, than was, last year when, when you know it's your team? Obviously, kind of the leadership aspect of that, I'm sure, is probably a little different. No, I mean, I feel like you go about it the same way. I mean, I feel like you focus on things a little differently as far as, like, leadership was a big thing this spring for me that I wanted to work on as opposed to last spring, you know, just getting here and trying to just learn the offense and do all that stuff and uh, still trying to play the best I can, obviously, but focusing more on leadership this spring. What was the reasoning behind you? Kind of an unusual circumstance for you to be put back in late in the fourth quarter. Did you kind of lobby to go back in, or what was the situation there? Uh, I mean, we just wanted to, we were still trying to win, so we were trying to, you know, trying to score again and uh, wish we could have put it in there at the end, so that's what we were trying to do. Trevor, what do you think you improved on this spring? Do you feel like you've taken a step forward in your mind? Yeah, I mean, um, I feel like I have taken a step forward. I wouldn't say it's the, my best spring that I feel like I could have had, but I think I learned a lot and uh, got better for sure, just with, with leading for one, and then just with the new guys. It was, uh, you know, at first we had to kind of get our timing down and all that with all the new receivers and all that uh, stuff. So I feel like we got a lot better though as a team, grew closer together, so it was good. Has it been a demanding spring just because since the national championship game, you've kind of been under the microscope a, a lot more? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's been a lot different. It seems like it was not too long ago. We were just playing last season and now we're already finished with spring. So it's, it's flown by, but, um, but yeah, it's been, it's been a little different, but I feel like once you get out there and it's, it's the same thing, you know, trying to practice and get ready for the season. So now that this is over, what does Trevor Lawrence do to get ready for, for the next season? Um, yeah, I mean, I'll probably take about a week off or two, a week or two off just from throwing it all and then after that, it'll be kind of starting summer training. We're going to be lifting these next two weeks uh, with Coach Batson, so we'll do that. And then we'll get some time off, but uh, I'm still going to train and throw and you know stay stay fresh on that. But uh, just you know, I feel like it's going to be really important for these guys. We're not going to have a lot of mandatory stuff, so that everyone's just doing work on their own and getting better. And obviously, we're going to have a lot of stuff this summer as far as throwing together and, and that kind of stuff. So. Last year's game seemed a lot more about completely looking forward and trying to get back to winning the national championship. Was this more a little bit more about a celebration and kind of celebrating the immediate past with some of your former teammates back in the house? Uh, I think in a way, yeah, just because we did the ring uh, ceremony out there for them. But I think this whole spring has been kind of, you know, that's great. We, we won last year, but that's, you know, that's kind of we're moved on from that now, so this is a new team. Uh, you know, everyone's not saying everyone's forgot about it, but uh, we, we know that our next mission is the same thing. But uh, we got to start over. You know, we don't get to carry any of that over. So it's been it's been a good spring of just kind of rebuilding and kind of figuring out what, what uh, this team has in store for us. Is that hard to do? Is there a learning curve to learn how to do that? Put last year behind because it was yeah. such a magic moment. Yeah, no, it's t I mean, it, it's tough at first. You know, you want to. That's an awesome moment. You don't really want to let that go, but. Um, it's like Coach Twenty says, the best is yet to come, and we, we really do believe that in everything we do, and just you know trying to work and, and, and just be even better than we were last year. So it's just um, that's kind of our what we're trying to do right now. And, uh, but yeah, it's, I mean it was great to have those guys out there, them get their rings. It's awesome, special group of seniors, and that was an awesome team. From the final whistle in that championship game to the spring game, which players on offense do you think has really shown a lot to you as far as work ethic and ability goes? So we got a lot of playmakers. I mean, obviously the new guys, Frank and Joe, at receiver, they, they had a great spring. And um, Travis had a good spring. Tavian, Lin J, those three guys had an awesome spring. Got a lot better, I think. And uh, Chase had a great spring, too. I mean, we've had we've had a good spring kind of uh, learning from each other, you know, encouraging each other. So it's been it's been really good. Uh, O-line, Sean moved to center. He's done a great job. Uh, Jackson Carmen at left tackle. He's been playing really well. Um, We've got a bunch of other guys that have been playing for us, Matt, Bachor, some other guys in the O-line that have been rotating, done a great job. And obviously there's a lot more, but that's offensive side of the ball. It's, it's a lot of the guys right there. I know you want some, some time away, but do you already think about next year and all of the weapons that you will have at your disposal? There's a lot of toys in that toy box for you. Yeah, I mean, we'll, like you said, we'll have a little bit of time, but I'm already like, I'm irritated because lost that game and have to <laughs> sit on that until fall camp. So. That's kind of irritating, but yeah, we're. I'm excited just to have. You know, it's it's weird in the spring games. You split up. You don't have your full team, so you got to kind of get used to that. And don't have any practice with those guys, so it's a little tough. But yeah, we uh, we got some great 
players, just on both sides of the ball, and I'm excited. Were there some bragging rights on the line tonight? I mean, were you guys talking a little smack for oh, a couple yeah. of weeks? That's, yeah, definitely. That's that's why, you know, like I said, I was irritated. You know, the guys were talking before the game, just, you know, just joking around. But everybody wants to win. This team's full of winners. and. You know, it's important to everyone, even though it's just a spring game, it's an inter squad thing. Everybody wants to win, it's still just as big a deal. With all the success that you've had, um, how has your life changed um, around campus and in Cartersville, Georgia? Just, I feel like everything's just a little amplified, it's crazier, you know. More people wanting to stop you whenever you go anywhere, so you just got to be, um, I guess, more aware, more cautious of where you're going. How do you go about unplugging from all that? Because obviously, the closer the season gets, the bigger the spotlight's going to get on you. It's not even as big as last year it was. It's going to be bigger than that this time around. Just, you know, finding some, for me, just finding some quiet time, you know, being alone for at least a little bit every day and just kind of, you know, reflect on whether it's the end of the day reflecting on the day or the beginning of the day just kind of getting ready for the, the day, whatever it throws at me. So that's been a big thing for me is just to have some alone time, have some solitude and really be able to kind of think. Trevor, 